What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Well, guys, you know, in life, there's dumb, dumber, and dumbest. This guy right, right up here, his name is Joseph Morrell. I guess he lives at, in, or around Ramsey County, Minnesota. Shout out! This dude right here is as dumb as they come. Foolish and stupid. Went to commit a crime without a real plan and without a real gun. Ladies and gentlemen, this idiot that you see right here, dressed in an Amazon suit, an Amazon vest, worker's uniform, goes into a liquor store in Ramsey County, Minnesota, where a man was standing at the desk at the counter. He flashed a gun and demanded money while holding up a bottle of liquor. The story goes like this. Said so the man uh, approached the uh, counter with a bottle of liquor, brandished a firearm. The store clerk, the guy behind the counter was sitting there with his eight year old daughter. The guy got, uh, was threatening, tried to come around the counter and you'll never believe what happened. But uh, I'll give you one uh, hint. It's totally embarrassing. Take a look. On WCCO tonight, an eight-year-old girl grabs a bat to help her father fight off an armed robber. That girl's brave save happened while her dad worked behind a liquor store counter. As our Ubali reports, there was only one thing going through her father's head. Anything else for you today? No. It's back to business after a big scare at Big Discount Liquor Store in Maplewood. I'm never going to forget. Leo says he was preparing to close the store around 9.30 Saturday night when this man walked in and wandered through the store. Surveillance video shows him wearing an Amazon uniform, reaching in his pocket before setting a realistic BB gun on the counter. Put the gun on the table. He asked me to give him all the money and everything I got in the register. And I told him, yes, um, I give you everything. But behind the counter, beside Leo, his eight-year-old daughter. I tried to talk to him and say, you know what? I got my daughter here. Can you just please put the gun down, move it away from her? I will give you everything. Take everything. It's money. I don't care. You know, I just care about the safety for her. But when he started walking behind the counter. I'm a dad, I'm not gonna be let that happen. Leo punches the man, wrestling him to the floor. Seconds later. I'm coming to the rescue. You see his brave little girl. So I'm so proud of her, so she's, she's so strong. Grab a baseball bat. This is the bat. She was holding it. Hitting the suspect before running away. That day I would say I just, I just want to cry when I see the video because I was like, I don't expect she do that. I, I expect like a little girl crying or screaming. You know? An incredible act of heroism. And she said she want to be defend me. From a little girl who saw her dad needed help. In Maplewood, Uba Ali, WCCO News. That's the story of this guy, Joseph Morrell. Idiot. 37 years old. Idiot. You had on the Amazon uh, thing and came in there to steal. I think I guess he was gonna use that as the throw off. Let's put this all in perspective. You went into the store, got your ass beat by a big dad, a fat dad in chanclas and an eight year old uh, baby. Embarrassing. All trying to steal money out the cash register. I don't know why these dudes be still trying to rob cash registers. Man, people have been doing that since the beginning of time. They got drop boxes now. Ain't no money in there and ain't nothing in there worth, no dollar amount worth losing your freedom. He went in there with a Sig Sauer 40 cal, 45 caliber replica handgun. Got punched in the face. Dumb. Said so this happened uh, Saturday around 9.30, August 10th, when this happened. He looked hella stupid. It says video surveillance obtained from the store showed the eight year old girl grabbing an aluminum bat, hit Morrell multiple times in the head as the two men tried to grab the weapon per Star Tribune. Morrell eventually fled the scene heading north without his gun. <laughs> yeah. 
Leo told CBS News that he was shocked that his daughter stepped in to help him. That day, I just wanted to cry when I saw the video. I didn't expect she would do that. He said, I expect a little girl to be crying and screaming. She wasn't going for that. And I'm going to tell that dude, Mr. Leo, yo, salute to you and your daughter. You got something special right there. She ain't no punk. That lets you know that you have a, a positive impact and influence on her as a protector. And she would do everything she could to protect you because you are a father. You are a champion. I give you a hell of respect. And I definitely give her a hell of respect. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, well, you know, that little girl shouldn't have did that. It is that. In times of danger, you don't know what occasion you'll rise to, if need be. And that's the thing. This is a little girl. And she put her life in danger to save someone that she knew would do it for her. I want you to think about that. There are people out here right now that are freeze up in, in, in uh, times of danger with somebody that they love being attacked. Don't know why, but they just do. This little girl special. She went and got that bat. Now, I'm going to tell you something. You could tell she was scared and she was cautious. That bat was heavy. She came up there and was giving them the, it was like almost like an old lady, like swinging the bag. They knew they ain't hurting you, but they doing something. You know what I'm saying? She's a fighter. Respect. She got warrior in her. I love that. It says the store clerk told the Star Tribune that his daughter had been hiding in the shop during the alleged robbery attempt before she, before she intervened and praised her efforts to help him stave off the robber. He said, I'm so proud of her. She is strong. He told CBS News, she's a good girl. And you're right, she is. She is. This dude is an idiot. Could you imagine him in the uh, holding tank? He got a mouse under his eye. They're like, yo, what you was in a fight? What happened? Probably in there lying. Yeah, I, 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 I was in a robbery, you know what I'm saying? Then all of a sudden, they show his ass in the day room on the news. Little girl beating his ass with a bat. Dad clowning and then kick the hell out of him. <laughs> I mean, this, this is embarrassing, y'all. I mean, I, I, that's all I got to say about it. But, you know, you never discredit the love that your children have for you, especially when you are positive influence. The man was at work and had his daughter there. So evidently, you know, for her to sit there while this guy doing a nine to five, regardless if he had a babysitter or whatever reason she was there, she loved being around her dad. And she wouldn't extend that as much as possible, even if she had to put her life on danger to make sure she had one more day with her father. I respect that. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Salute to both of them. Yeah, and one more thing, too. According to the police reports, the man got up and ran, right? Ran down the street. Police came to the place. He said the guy took off that way. The guy was on foot. He didn't even have a car. The police go and get him. He briefly resists arrest. They throw him in the back of the car and take him back to the place. The clerk identifies him. Said the man denied even being there. He said, you know what I'm saying? He said, that's the guy that robbed the store. He said, the guy, he said, Morell denied even being there, according to the uh, news. It said, Morell's whose mugshot is obtained, showed a scrape below one of his eyes, also told police that the injuries came from an altercation two days ago. He ain't want that to get out that he got his head busted by a father and daughter combo. I'll see you guys later on. Take care.